a fascinating poll came out revealing that almost 60% of Americans believe that the MAGA movement poses a threat to our democracy. So there's always with this type of uh, information, two feelings you have simultaneously, or at least I have. The first is, yes, okay, people are paying attention, they understand, and it's, it's a little bit uplifting to think that people are really tuned in to the reality of the moment that we're at. And then you get real sad because you realize, dang, we're in a country where 60% almost of, of the nation we're in correctly believes that there's a massive threat posed by a movement right now to our democratic process. And that's very saddening. So reading from Reuters, days after Democratic President Joe Biden gave a fiery speech uh, attacking former President Donald Trump and his Republican allies as an extremist threat, a Reuters Ipsos poll completed on Wednesday found a majority of Americans believe Trump's movement is undermining democracy. 58% of respondents in the two-day poll, including one in four Republicans, said Trump's Make America Great Again movement is threatening America's democratic foundations. And they are absolutely correct about that. What is a little bit disturbing, parallel to this, and it just shows the split in our country right now, 61% of Republicans, 61% think that even if Trump is charged with a crime, he should run for president. So we could have a situation where Trump is charged with a crime, uh, and still runs for president and 61% of Republicans support that. So on one side, you have 25% of Republicans and 60% of the country believing that Trump and the movement, uh, behind him threatens our democratic processes or the wording they use was the, um, democratic foundations of America. And on the other, you have a clear majority of the members of the Republican Party believing that Trump should run for president, even if he's charged with a crime. And clearly, they don't think he's a threat to, to uh, our democracy if they believe he should run. So it's such a weird and scary uh, moment that we're in right now, where someone who is so clearly undermining our election processes, undermining our democracy, is still so supported by a a certain portion of our country, but it is hopeful that at least people are paying attention and hopefully that will bo uh, bear out in the voting numbers in the upcoming election and in a possible 2024 run from Donald Trump. But the other thing I hope people keep in mind, which I have less hope about this, but I really, really wish that people would, is it's not just Trump. Trump now has started a movement and there's other leaders emulating him. So even if Trump isn't the person in 2024, if it's someone like Ron DeSantis or a similar brand of Republican, then we have to be just as afraid of what they could do to our democracy, just as afraid of the role that they could play um, as a leader and as an elected official. And so making sure people are aware and apply this particular awareness about Trump to the movement at large um, is, is a really important thing for us to do. But wild stuff. I don't even think I would have guessed that amount of America is this aware and would respond that way in a poll. So in a sense, it's good news, but also wrapped up in a big, massive tortilla of bad news.